Hi you guys, welcome to another pick a card on Mondays. I really love this series. This is such, uh, you guys, I love this. Please like this video if you are following along and love this series too. Um, I will say I'm definitely getting over and healing from a major <laughs> knock you out kind of sickness that I have not experienced in maybe ever. I mean, this has been really intense. I kind of went the extra lengths to like curl my hair. This has always been my like magic way since I was in college. Um, I always thought like the days that I felt really sick, the fastest way for me to get better is like to really spend that extra time on self-care and do a clay mask. To this morning I did a sauna. Um, we have a sauna in our bedroom, it's the best. And just taking like a really nice slow time this morning. Um, sickness is such an incredible, incredible teacher. Um, this week you guys, we're gonna be working with that same Ascended Master deck. It's just, again, it's like, when you find something that works for you, I don't know, I know there's so many beautiful, beautiful decks and last week, um, I'm slipping on who it was, but somebody reminded me of the beautiful Kuan Yin deck, which I've always been drawn to. I don't have it yet. Um, there's just so many gorgeous decks on the market. This is not one of them. <laughs> this is not a gorgeous deck to me, um, especially compared to some of the other artwork that's out there. But for me, this is always the one that I have a pretty deep connection with like almost every single card in here. Um, and I think when you're reading, when you're doing readings for so long and you become so familiar with the energy of a deck, it's kind of hard to like, switch it up you know today we're just gonna do three um, three sections so if you're new here I'm gonna kind of be shuffling and getting these ready as we go I'm gonna take my rings off too because they're slipping off if you're new here then um, welcome I hope uh, I hope you have a beautiful reading today and the way that this works is pretty simple so right now is your time to decide if you are in group one group two or group three and each of these um, groups are gonna get a personalized reading today so today's question is just what do you need to know right now what do we need to know like in the next 10 minutes right what do we just need to know that's going to really help us take that next guided step and stay very and it's a very grounded question what do we need to know right now and so we're gonna start with group number one and see what you guys get to, oh my gosh you guys got the Jesus card mm. and the very clear drink more water card okay so here's what we got we've got first up Paul the Phoenician then we have open your heart to love with Jesus or Yeshua. I know some people in the New Age community, I think, feel more comfortable switching over to calling Jesus Yeshua. Um, I was that way for a long time. And um, yeah, so Jesus or Yeshua, open your heart to love. And then we have the drink more water card with ocean. That card for me is always, let's just start with that card because the drink more water card, it's pretty clear, right? It's like, let's take better care. Let's hydrate. And I really like, why is this always such a thing? Like, I don't know if you are a person who actually has the drinking enough water thing every single day down, comment below. Like, who are you, unicorn person? I feel like I'm constantly... Like, st I'm just needing more water all the time. Um, and I, yeah, I'm also, today I'm drinking on my tea. I wanna tell you guys, I know this is reading number one and we're getting a little bit chit chatty about drinking water, but if you're a tea person or if water is just, it's just like, I need something else. Um, this is the Tulsi Sweet Rose Tea and it is my number one hot tea like ever. I love, love, love this tea so much. Um, I had a little fuzz in there. It is, it reminds me of home. It's just, it is pretty, it's floral. Um, I'm just obsessed. I'm obsessed with this tea. So if you need like something just to kind of like freshen up your getting more water into your body, um, what I like to do sometimes is make a really intense hot tea 
Um, I did this just this morning actually. I have a detox blend um, that I get that I posted in my Instagram stories today. And I make a really intense, you know, hot tea of it, but then I get a big mason jar full of ice and I dump the tea in there and then just fill the rest up with uh, water if there's room for water. And uh, maybe I'll add a slice of lemon or something, but um, that's been something that I've been doing as well, just to be get, to be getting more fluids. But um, you guys need to drink more water if you're in group number one you know just figure out a way where that's going to be really easy for you so this goes for like you and your whole family like get on the water train and really get hydrated um and on it and this card for me it's always it kind of when this card comes up it's a little bit of like take a break too. You know, um, we have the other cards that we have here are artistic expression. So, you know, making yourself a really beautiful drink and then slowing down and getting into just like your own meditative, creative process uh, for a bit would be a really beautiful idea. And then before you're creating, you know, this is one of the more powerful cards in this deck. Um, the healing energy and the love, the Christ energy from Jesus is just so powerful. Um, and he is one along with Mother Mary and Mary Magdalene that, you know, and so many of the Ascended Masters, but with these guys, I just feel their presence really potently um, when I ask for it. So remember that you can ask for help, uh, you guys, in group number one, and that the help is there. And um, I'm also feeling like the Palladian roots of that whole um, Christed energy of Mother Mary, Mary Magdalene, like really here to support. Um, if that's just a more modern way for you to uh, to connect to guidance and to help right now, to call on Palladian guides, they are very much assisting um, with so much that's going on. But um, getting into that creative flow, art artistic expression, um, with like his beautiful, look at this freaking like rose necklace that he has on. It's so beautiful. Honestly, the whole theme here for me, what I'm really feeling for you, group number one, is to really slow down, like really slow down. When was the last time that you, um, for example, just like sat and watched the sunset or watched the clouds or, you know, those, those things in nature that are very slow, very, very, very slow, or just watched you know, if it's a breezy day, watch the, the branches move. There's just, there's a pace that the earth has that is very easy to become disconnected from, unfortunately, just with the way life is uh, today. And so I think what, you know, the answer for you guys, what does the universe want you to know now? It's time to slow down. It's time to just like go fill up your water bottle, you know, create some time for some journaling, some painting, um, something to really allow you to slow down. And for me, this can be, you know, on a personal level, this can be really hard for me to do sometimes. So something that I, I try to remind myself is that giving myself a pocket of time to just totally slow down is, it's okay. We can still get back to the grind and get back to life and get back to all the things as soon as possible, but to set aside um, four hours in an evening, which sounds like so much time, but to set that side itself, to set that time aside, and to really just like care for yourself in that way, and care for your spirit, and care for your connection in that way, is just so important. And to really allow yourself to get into that slow pace, turn all the Wi-Fi off, just get you know get like all the beautiful sharpies out or whatever it is that gets you excited to get some thoughts down on paper or like just sit and like watch the clouds if you need to for a lot like decompress from all of it so um you know this doesn't need to take super long and if four hours feels like such an enormous stretch for you then that's an invitation to really call in some more support really ask for some more support. Um, I can speak from this really personally as a mother that um, to be super intentional about when am I gonna get my alone time? When am I gonna have my creative time? When am I gonna have that self-care time? 
it's it's a constant thing that's up for me um, so I just I totally get it I'm not I, I get it uh, but it's really important really really important so slow down come back to a new pace the pace of the earth um, ask Gaia to help you with that too. You can totally ask Mother Earth to really help you get into that, into that pace. Um, but I would really just really emphasize, you know, making yourself a beautiful drink of something, even if it's just ice water. Um, dress it up with like a slice of cucumber or something if you want, and then just go and like sit and watch. I'm looking out my window right now and I'm watching a bird just like circle, you know, the houses across the street. And it's just something like that, you know, just like really allow yourself to kind of really slow down and pay attention to the earth around you. Okay, so let's move on to group number two and what the universe wants you to know right now. Okay. Ooh, what an interesting line up. First we have Peace Offering with White Buffalo Calf Woman. Then we have Find the Blessing in Your Current Situation with Krishna. This is always an interesting card for me. Um, and then Come Out of the Closet with Amaterasu. I think that's how you say her name. What the universe wants you to know right now. Well, White Buffalo Woman um, with her Peace Offering. This is a really powerful card. This is a card that kind of brings me into like the present moment um, very quickly. And just to kind of actually roll right off of what group number one was getting with um, more of an earth connection, that feels like it's very much going to be a theme for all of the readings in, in all of us today, is that earth connection time and how important that is. White Buffalo Woman is certainly um, an ascended master that is very helpful with your connection to Gaia, with your, yeah, with your connection to this planet and, and why are you here at this time. So I would really um, suggest that if that is something that you don't feel a strong connection to, call on her. She's very powerful, very straightforward uh, energy, very loving. You know, the vibe coming off of these cards and just from group number two right now, it's really about um, connecting a little bit more deeply with your life mission. And how are you gonna do that? And there's probably a new layer of you that's ready to emerge. And that's what I really, this coming out of the closet, it's like there are these, just these gems of authenticity that are inside of you that are really ready to start blossoming and to start coming out. And that might feel very difficult right now. That might feel nearly impossible right now, but it's a huge blessing for you to take that first step and to take that first leap into doing that. So if there is something for you guys in group number two that's been on your mind and that you've been feeling like, mm -hmm, I wanna start speaking out more about this topic. And you don't see many people speaking out about that. And you know, it feels a little bit like, oh, I don't know though, like none of my friends are really talking about this. This is kind of new territory. Maybe it's time to start exploring what it might feel like for you to express yourself in that way. Um, and this, this definitely feels like Group number two, what the universe wants you to know right now, it's like, how are you, this is very much about like how you are being seen by others, how you're being seen by your brothers and sisters, how you're being seen by your community. It's a huge part of um, White Buffalo Woman. If you've read the Sophia Code, that whole initiation is very much about how we can be in right relationship with our selves and our divinity, but also with our community. And so for, for you guys, there's probably, I certainly, I mean, we've all had this, you guys, we've all had those moments where it feels like you're coming out of the closet. It feels like there's been this, this voice and expression inside of you that wants to come out and it's time for that to come out. And this can be little things too. This doesn't have to be this huge parade, okay? For me, um, 
to give you just an example of how this can translate to very small details. For me, it was really about um, being able to come out of the closet as like a little bit more of a beauty queen and like curling my hair and doing my, like look at all the glitter that I'm wearing and you know, just like getting a little more comfortable with that um, when at the time, most of my friends didn't wear makeup never put heating products on their hair um, and that's okay that's like also really beautiful and um, like really good you know that's awesome but there's this part of me that is a total beauty queen and I, I've got white peacock feathers all over my house and um, and regular peacock feathers all over my house and this sort of way that I express myself is really important to me and so I just decided to start doing it I decided to get some false lashes I, I decided like yeah that's me you know that feels like me and so it could be something kind of small like that that doesn't need this big announcement but it's more of just this like I'm just gonna start doing this now even though it has felt like something that's sort of like I don't know like out of the zone of comfort um, with your like current circle of people you know what I mean so um, just take some time and I would just, I mean, you guys, White Buffalo Woman is a really cool Ascended Master to, to invite into your life. She has so much to offer when it comes to leadership and looking at our communities, um, you know, and thinking globally, but acting locally. She is very wise, very wise and very connected to this planet. And um, I really just, if that is not someone, a being that you have connected with before, just like maybe, maybe give her a shot. Um, she's, she's incredible. She's incredible and so relevant to where we are um, in these times. So um, yeah, so you know, it's time to come out a little bit more and just let that authenticity, connect with that authenticity and then how can that come out in a way that feels really good and, and in a way where there's no vulnerability hangovers, you know, like ease into things. This doesn't mean you don't have to put yourself in situations that are unnecessary or like unnecessarily vulnerable, but like how can you ease into that for yourself? Not for the sake of other people seeing you, but just for yourself. How can you do more of that? Okay, so let's see um, group number three. Let's see, Ooh, oh, interesting. Okay, Egypt coming up, okay. First card for you guys in group number three, you're seeing the situation accurately with the Horus. So much to say about the Horus. Right with Thoth and choose peace with Yogananda. This is such a gorgeous card actually. I really, this is one of these cards that you can kind of stare at and really get lost in that peacefulness actually. So, okay, so I'm so glad this card came up, the choose peace card came up. Um, I'm very connected with all of this Egypt energy and some of my strongest guides um, that you guys are welcome to, um, you know, invite them in, they're very much available to you. Uh, I call them the Ptolemaic Queens never shared this well i've shared about this a little bit but i don't talk about this a lot the egyptian ptolemaic queens that i am very much guided by and isis is is like the like even the queens are like looking to isis you know they're they're more of this like i guess they still are are very much rooted and very much connected to that isis lineage now, now with that and with this Egyptian energy that comes through, it, it's intense for me. Um, it's, it's intense in the sense that that was such a powerful time for us. Now, the, the question here is what does the universe want you to know now? So with that in mind and is that being like what set our container here, it really feels like group number three, this is an invitation for you to start really trusting your gut a little bit more and um, to come into a moment of not looking to anybody else to guide you. Now, this might even mean, you no, know, this is kind of, this is, I'm always, this is always a paradox, right? Because of course we have this guidance and we have, we have the assistance on the other time, on the other side, and we have even other lifetimes of experiences that we can call in to remember for ourselves. But 
you know, I don't know why the, the reading is kind of taking a turn and the messages that I'm hearing right now are very much, you know, from these queens, is to trust your body. Trust your body. And you're seeing the situation accurately. This card in the context of today's question and of today's message is get in touch with your physical body and what is your body trying to tell you about the situation, about the messages that you need to hear right now. The most powerful guide that that you can get in touch with is your physical body. Your, the intelligence of your physical body is it's got a lot to say. It's got a lot that it wants to communicate to you about your well-being, about your vitality. Now, you're seeing the situation accurately. Your body is always seeing the situation accurately. Your body is always communicating you immediately the yeses, the noes, and here's where we need more, here's where we need less. Um, it's a completely intelligent piece of technology that we can tune into to get a lot, a lot, a lot of information. And when you do that, I think it, it might be helpful to write some things down because um, when you start to connect with your body in that way, there's a lot of really specific information that can come through. There's specific nutrients, there's specific detox protocols, you know, there's so much information out there about all of those things. And um, what I will say, and so write the things down, like you've probably already done your research around your health and well-being. It's not like you're tuning into this video and you're like, oh, I don't know about detoxing. I don't know about nutrition. I don't know about, you know, all the things that are good for you. You guys know, but we know so much. There's so many freaking protocols out there. But to, so like tune in to your body and say like out of all of the things that we know what what is the thing that we could like go deep with right now is it detoxing heavy metals is it a focus on the liver is it you know just getting back into a neti pot routine um you know are you do you want to go to a gym and do the sauna or think about getting a sauna for your place um write down like the immediate responses that your your body wants some wants to know about and then also make sure this choose peace card that i'm glad that this is here again because and it has such a watery energy this card um to really like not go to a place that's like not sustainable or too intense or um you know you can do this like really gently just be mindful that like you don't need to go through a total like <laughs> you know, healing crisis to be able to help yourself out. And so just like take baby steps. You don't need, you know, you can take a month or six months with protocols. You know what I mean? I think we live in an age where it just feels like we have to do our healing so fast. We have to detox so fast. We have to do all these things so fast. And, um, oh my goodness, I'm forgetting what group it was, but the slow down, I think it was group number one, where that message of slowing down, you guys might wanna look at that if this is, is feeling like, oh, that's me. I always try to like do like the crazy, crazy detox in like half the time, you know? It's just like, that's not, that's not like maybe really serving you. So not to discourage you from like really doing your best for and what's best for your body and staying really dedicated but i think that there's just a balance there and making sure that you're choosing a peaceful route for your physical body um, when it comes to the the healing and the well-being and it also just certainly seems like group number three for you guys to get to i mean in the isis card i will say it's not even in the deck because that one's by my nightstand right now i've really been um looking at that card a lot during the day the isis card and um as you guys know i love her i love isis our relationship has like really deepened in a beautiful way and um it just really calls to me all of this symbolism i mean look at these photos um even though yeah can you guys see that these really beautiful symbols in here with the eye the falcon is that a falcon i'm pretty sure that's a falcon not a hawk you know the moon it's all just so gorgeous and then we've got again the moon over here with thoth 
and the pyramids and the sphinx and just all the things. Um, you guys, you can access those lifetimes. I'm sure everybody um, here has had those lifetimes in Egypt and they were probably pretty powerful. And um, those, those lifetimes are pretty, I have found, for whatever reason, are like a little bit easier, I think. And Avalon, Egypt and Avalon seem to be like the two that I think they come through in Lemuria a little bit, but um, those are the really magical moments like that our spirit has experienced. And there's just, there's a lot to connect to from that time that can be brought into the now and um, modernized in whatever way that feels right for you. So I hope you guys enjoyed um, your readings today. I would so love if you subscribed and um, followed on Instagram, you know, all the things that would be so great. Um, I really, I just so appreciate the support that has been um, coming through with these weekly videos. It means so, so much to me. And it's really just on a personal level has really invited me into just like relaxing a little bit more and um, talking about some of these topics in just a way that can be really fresh and really casual. That has been made so much easier by how cool you guys have been um, with this and just so supportive. It's just the best. So I hope you guys have an amazing Monday. I pulled away a few little gems from today. I'll be back next week with another pick a card reading and I've got a few videos this week for you too. I'm super excited to share and I will talk to you guys later.